Away from politics now, the remains of the first civilian governor of Lagos State was buried on Friday amidst huge celebrations as Nigerians eulogized the great patriarch whose contributions towards the development of the state would be remembered for a long time. A correspondent, Abin Bolag BBE reports. Born on the 23rd of July 1929 in the Petedu area of Lagos Island, the name Latif Kayodi Jakonde came into limelight when he took over the mantle of leadership as the first civilian governor of Lagos State in 1979. Jakonde ruled for four years, but the enormity of the grounds he covered in governance within the period was as if he occupied the seat of power for a decade. Latif Jakonde took a bow. On the 11th of February 2021, at the age of 91, today is has been fondly remembered for a life dedicated to humanity. At his Ilupeju residence, dignitaries trooped in to pay condolence to his family. Here, prayers according to Islamic rites are being offered for the repose of the soul of the deceased with a message for everyone present. <laughs> The life and time of Latif Jakonde handed down vital lessons to be drawn by political office holders on the need to serve with the interest of the masses at heart. My dear men, in some developing countries, as a journalist, he also made his mark. Doctrine, press freedom is the touchstone of all the other liberties of the citizen and therefore should be the concern of every human being. On press freedom, in any country, derogates from the totality of press freedom in the world. All too often, media men in some advanced countries, because they were born into press freedom, adopt an attitude of indifference to encroachments on press freedom in other countries. As a politician, he governed with sacrifice, using every opportunity to make life better for the masses. As a father, his children attested to his loving disposition. You can see he's a very humble man. He served as the governor of this state and he, he didn't take anything personal. So he served his people, he was loyal to the to, 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 so embodiment of everything that's good. I miss everything about him. But uh, we thank God that uh, he fulfilled you know, his purpose on this earth. You know, his, his main uh, desire uh, is selfless service to the people. And he did everything within his ability to achieve that. He shifted the leadership, the, the seat of government from Lagos Island right to Ikeja. That shows foresight. The man who saw tomorrow, he introduced the orderliness of traffic, I mean, all than even numbers. Also, conceived the idea of a low cost housing for the poor people and uh, makeshift, you may call it. Quick, quick building for school children to be able to get more children into school. All these are remarkable things. Shortly after the special prayers, the remains of the elder statesman was moved to the vault gardens in Ikoi, Lagos, where he was laid to rest. Families, friends, and political associates bid him goodbye. Latif Jakonde was also an author. Among books he authored are The Trial of Obafemi Awolowo in 1966. He also wrote Action Years, Experiments in Democracy, published in 1985, and The Problems and Prospects of Free Education for All. Based on the test of a lecture delivered at the Odidua Hall of Obafemi Awolo University, Ileife, on Saturday, 21st of November, 1987. Latif Kayode Jakonde will be remembered as a noble statesman and towering political figure who served Lagos and Nigeria well. Many regarded him as a model lesson of servant leadership. Abimbola Agbibi. TVC News, Lagos.